given x plus y equals to 2, given x power 4 plus y power 4 equals to 1234, and the uh, x, y's are real numbers, find the value of x multiply y or just x, y. So we may start the solution by x plus y power 2. It can be expanded become x power 2 plus 2xy plus y power 2. And then we rearrange the term become x power 2 plus y power 2 is equals to x plus y power 2 minus 2xy. Okay, let's call it equation 3. Now from the equation 1 we know x plus y equals to 2. Okay. Let's put inside equation 3. So therefore, x power 2 plus y power 2 is equals to 2 power 2 minus 2xy. Now we're going to power 2 in the left hand side and the right hand side. Of course, 2 power 2 is equals to 4. So in the left hand side is x power 2 plus y power 2, the whole thing power 2, equals to term number 1, 4 power 2, 16. Minus 2 multiply 4, multiply 2, multiply xy, 16xy, plus 2 power 2, 4, and then xy power 2. This is equation 4. On the other hand, x power 2 plus y power 2 the whole thing power 2 is actually equals to x power 4 plus 2 x y power 2 plus y power 4 make a rearrangement you have x power 4 plus y power 4 plus 2xy power 2. Let's call this equation 5. If we look at equation 2, here, x power 4 plus y power 4 is actually equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's put equation 2 into 5. So you have a x power 2 plus y power 2 the whole thing power 2 is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 2 xy power 2. This is equation 6. So, if you look at equation 4 here and equation 6, the left hand side are the same. So, we combine 4 and 6. The right hand side of 4 and 6 is 16 minus 16xy plus 4xy squared equals to the right hand side of the equation 6 which is 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 2xy squared. Okay, you have 2xy squared minus 16xy minus 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 16. Yeah, you move to the other side. So this one is a constant which is which is minus 1, 2, 1, x equals to 0. So we can divide everything by 2. So you have a xy power 2 minus 8xy minus 609 equals to 0. Obviously, this is a quadratic equation. And uh, experienced people may able to factor it directly. I will show you how if you cannot factor directly. Okay, let's assume we can factor directly. So, xy, xy, the two numbers multiply, we get 609 which is 29 multiplied 21. So this is negative, this is positive. So in other words, we, we have two possible answers. xy minus 29 equals to 0. 
xy equals to 29. Now I can tell you here, this is not a final answer. I will tell you why in a little bit while. On the other hand, xy plus 21 equals to 0, xy is equals to negative 21. Okay. In the case that you are not able to get this answer by factor, you can use a, a standard solution for a quadratic equation which is xy equals to negative b negative a plus minus b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a 2 a so if you solve this equation you will get 29 and negative 21 respectively of course like I say, 29 is not the final answer. I will show you now why 29 is not the final answer. Now, if xy equals to 29, and do not forget our equation number 1, x plus y equals to 2. If both x and y are negative, then x plus y certainly is negative which is cannot be equals to 2 on the other hand if both x and y are positive such as uh, 1 multiplying 29 yeah there is one choice or another choice 2 multiply 14.5 and so on and so on okay then x plus y must be something bigger than 2 for example 1 plus 29 is 30 2 plus 14.5 or 4 plus 7.25 which is certainly bigger than 2 so under both cases uh, uh, we know that xy equals to 29 is not the real number solution for the question so that is why i say xy equals to 29 is not an answer so therefore we know the final answer xy for this question is negative 21 of course you can test using the same way we test xy equal to 29 but i'm sure it is the answer Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification button. Bye bye!